Right now, 5 o'clock, thieves hit the Plaza District in Oklahoma City again. Just last week, they stole the iconic pink elephant outside a popular pizza restaurant. Now, police are investigating after a trailer was taken from a local theater. News 9's Allie Brooks is live in the newsroom with details on that. Allie? Amanda and Kelly, Lyric Theater is now asking for the public's help in locating a very important piece to their mission of educating Oklahoma's students. On Monday between 2 and 3 p.m., Lyric Theater's 5x8 white cargo craft trailer was reportedly stolen from their back parking lot in the Plaza District. It had everything that we use for our musical interactive program. Lyric Theater started the musical interactive program in 2007, where they travel across the state visiting schools to teach and entertain students with musical theater for free. It had costumes and our PA system, our brand new mic system and a keyboard, a little bit over $15,000 worth of equipment. They've contacted Oklahoma City Police and other businesses in the Plaza District are rallying around them, trying to skim through surveillance footage that could lead to information. They say the cargo trailer looks similar to the one in this photo. Lyric Theater staff members tell us it's pretty generic looking, but there are a few noticeable differences. It does have the back right plastic part of the red tail light kind of busted a little bit and some dents in the front where the back of a van may um, hit it when it's being opened. Beth says everyone in the Plaza District is like family and they're trying to collaborate to see what needs to be done to protect the area from more theft. The discussion as of now is adding more surveillance cameras. But I'm pretty sure and I'm pretty confident that we're going to get a lead very soon. Um, if not, we here at Lyric Theater make sure that the show goes on. If you happen to see the trailer or know anything at all, you're asked to call Oklahoma City Police or Lyric Theater. In the newsroom, Allie Brooks, News 9.